Hello, hello. Well, today we're making a pair. You can see it there. Oh, now you can't. Uh, let me walk you through what I'm doing here. Bringing the clay up, uh, pulling up the walls. I'm keeping my clay pretty thick for this piece because I may use the metal rib and come back and put in some texture and. If I make my walls too thin, I'll just end up going right through with the metal rib. I love using the metal rib on clay. I don't know what it is uh, about that tool, but the, the metal just creates such a nice, clean surface on the clay. You know, I've, I've used wood ribs before and whatnot, and they're great for some things, but the metal rib just, well, it's just great, I think. But uh, anyways, working on the stem there. Trying to get that pear shape. Get a little wobble. But I'm not too worried about much wobble in this piece because I'm going to come back and kind of push it around anyway. And, uh, it's going to end up out of center by the end of this whole process. So I'm not too concerned with keeping it real, real on center. Just getting the slip off there. Uh, these marks I'm making are sort of inspired by, boy, I think they're impressionist paintings. I'm not really sure, uh, but they're the paintings with the real blocky uh, brush strokes, kind of these real prominent sort of geometric shapes in the brushwork. And when you squint your eyes at it, you like. It looks really realistic and then when you open your eyes all the way you're like oh that's nothing what a pear looks like but it sort of feels like a pear or it really feels like a pear but uh, anyways I thought I'd try and make something a little bit inspired by that I think those paintings are great I, I love looking at them also these uh, ledges that are created by the by the marks uh, are wonderful in a wood fire, uh, probably any atmospheric fire, but in a wood fire the the ash flows through the kiln depending on the kiln design. It'll go from the fire itself through the kiln uh, and out the chimney, but as it, as it flows through the kiln it sort of brushes up against all the pots and the pots are collected and then as, uh, as it gets really hot up in the 2000 degrees Fahrenheit uh, it'll melt and it'll create all these wonderful colors and textures and different surfaces on the on the pieces and these ledges sort of help collect the ash as it flows through that it'll you know sort of bump up and then stay there and so it's sort of a, a way to get more ash onto your piece uh, and I think they look kind of interesting too As I start working on the piece, I can touch it anywhere I want, you know, and it's pretty easy. But as I as I get towards the end here, I can't really put my other hand on it to stabilize it because I don't want to smudge any of the texture that I've made. But we uh, give it a go anyway. Get through there. Working on the stem there. So the stem's out of proportion. But uh, I think it looks nice anyway. I like it. Anyway, that's about my pair. Let me know what you think. Does it look like a pear? Does it feel like a pear? Yeah, thanks for watching.